What's up guys, it's Fab. Today I'm bringing you another Sony Vegas tutorial. This one's going to be on a sick scope effect where you mask out the scope and it comes spinning in and then there's like a little light burst at the end. So as you saw from the preview, it's pretty cool. It's in my last edit. But yeah, if you didn't know, I've got a partnership now, which is really sick. I've always wanted a partnership, so now I've got one. It's really awesome. But yeah, right. Coming into this, what you're going to want is your clip. And I've kind of started this, but you want your clip. Let me just control Z of this. You want your clip that you're going to be using. In my case, it's the one, the same from the edit. And you're gonna make sure you you've gone to properties and disable resample and tick maintain aspect ratio because you need to do that for all your clips. And the first thing you're gonna want to do is on here. I'm not gonna sync it to music. I'm just gonna show you. So I'm just gonna get rid of the audio. And you wanna find the bit. What I'm gonna be doing, for example, is he gets the first three kills, and then I'm gonna be going from here to the fourth kill. So what I'm gonna do is after he gets the third kill is I'm gonna add some Twixter so if you've got Twixter just follow this now if you haven't then you can use slow motion or whatever but if you have Twixter just follow this just split the clip go ahead three frames I recommend split again drag out this long bit and there's a little tiny bit you just want to drag that out go to your video effects drag on Twixter and here are my settings for you lot to copy down if you don't have them. But yeah, just pause the video. So yeah, add 1% to that if you have Twix if you don't, just use your normal slow motion. So now, if I preview this out, yeah, now it goes into Twixter, which will give us time for the scope to come in. So once you've got it into Twixter, like that, you're going to want to find the bit. <coughs> where he shoots for the last one or just before he shoots like like there and you're gonna wanna go up here on this tab and go to best put it on full that means it's got the best quality and you wanna go here and save a snapshot and make sure make sure this savers type is on PNG because that's better quality and then just hit save <coughs> <coughs> And then once that's saved, you can turn your quality back to whatever you use. But, yeah, so now you've got this image. This is what we're going to be masking out. So you've got this now. First thing you want to do is go into Pan and Crop. And hit down here this little button that says Mask. And now you'll have your tools on the side. It'll give you the automatic tool for masking. So all you need to do is just mask around the scope and I'll speed this up right so I've masked around the scope now that was a bit messy but obviously you can do it quicker so you that might be a bit ragged but you can do something to fix that you just want to go over here and it'll have these little drop arrow things you just want to go path and it says feather type, click on that and add both and then below that go to the feather click this little drop down arrow and add as much feather as you want I'm going to add about three so then that makes it like feathered so it's like not as jagged and then you want to add a new video track so it's like this above it and drag this picture above onto this clip and now what you'll see is we've got the scope masked out so this is where we're going to be animating the scope you want to find the bit like this this is twixted and now wherever you want the scope to start spinning you just want to want to add it above the clip so it's like this it's the clip to twixter and then you'll mask the scope above and then just go to pan and crop and it will be on this mask, don't worry, just click the top one of these little diamonds and that will take you to pan and crop, click on this. <coughs> and then what you want to do is, at the starting point, you want to drag this out so it's really small, like that, about there. You can see on the screen, so it's pretty small. 
Then the simple thing what we're going to do is just go ahead about as much as you want. I'm going to go ahead about almost, well, just above half a second. And you want to drag this up to there, or say back, go, click on this drop down arrow and go back to default. So I'll set it back to a small size. And then you want to go like this. On the outer circle where you can rotate, just rotate it round. 360 like that and what that has done now it's from here to there it's animated this to go round like that and I'll, that might be a bit slow but I'll preview it out now to see what it's like so we can see what it's like but yeah it's a pretty sick uh, effect and it's pretty easy to do as well so right, we'll see if this is too quick or too slow yeah, okay, so we're going to make that faster by just clicking on this one and dragging it forward a bit. Now this should be fine. Okay, yeah, right. One more time, just to make sure. Yeah, that's fine. So now, you've got your spinning scope, and you're going to want to find where it stops here. It stops there, right? And all you need to do is drag this duration of this clip down to where that it finishes. Drag the duration of the Twixter clip down to here where it finishes. And drag your normal clip where you split before back. And now you'll notice this is what happens. It goes into Twixter, the scope spins, and it comes back into real. There you go, that is really sick, and I will add a intervention sound quickly. So right. There, and now we're going to add for the final bit, the glow overlay, the little light burst that you see. And this is it here. Um, it's an overlay that you download, I'll put it in the description. And it'll come when it comes, you drag it over, over the top of the clip where you want it to start. And you're going to want to go here. Actually, sorry, what you want to do is add another video track. <coughs> and drag the overlay onto here. Onto the video track above. Go to your compositing mode. And click add. Like so. Like that. And then there's your overlay like that. You can make it brighter by just or just decrease the opacity but yeah you can make it thicker or whatever but what you're going to want to do is come to here the bit where he shoots where it's coming out of the scope right there and you're going to want to drag this overlay here and what you can do to make it faster is hit control or what you want to do actually sorry is find the bit like this, so say about there, where it's around the scope, like the circle is big enough to be around the scope, and then just split that to there, and drag it back. That is, hmm, hold on, let me just get this right. Yeah, that'll be about there. So yeah, you just want to keep playing around. There you go, that's pretty much alright. You can just around with the thing with the pan and crop just to get it right or whatever but yeah so now to make it faster you just want to go to the end of that glow hold control and drag it in and this should be pretty much it I will preview this now so that is a bit too fast just drag that back out. And preview again. And there you have it. You'll see the scope comes in, spins. If um to make it bigger or thicker, all you want to do is just get a pan and crop. Play around with the size like that. So that it gets um, bigger. If it goes, if you want it smaller, and it, this happens, the box at like that. All you want to do is just go to chroma key, drag on chroma key, and play around with the settings until it 
the box disappears. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please leave a like. I'm working on a lot of projects like um, Danny's episode, which should be out tomorrow. And I'm also going to be editing for Darth Wayne, which is amazing. So that'll be out soon and a lot more tutorials coming out as well. So please stay active, leave a like on the video. And if you're still watching now, then you are a legend. See you later. I'm out.